I've been looking forward to this day for a long, long time. Now, early on in my videos, if you remember, I talked about um, Model 2 consoles, like the NES 2 and the Sega Master System 2, and they're really much better. I mean, the NES 2 and the Master System 2, the only output RF, which is probably much the most crappiest reason to own one. But, I sent my Nintendo 2 away, and it came back, and looky looky, modified. And I'm just really happy. I have no idea if it works or not. I just only have to get in it now. I'd like to thank the guys at Microelectronics. Brian did an amazing job. I'll post all the information down below. Um, and just keep in mind, if you ever want, if you're ever in town, pop in. He might do it for you. <laughs> he did it for me at a very affordable price. So, let's see if this thing works because I am sick, sick of using this. Not only is it coax, so I have to go out and buy an adapter that would screw on like so. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> this crappy RF and trying to tune this to my TV has been a freaking nightmare. Didn't even get a proper good signal. And 9 out of 10, it would go from somewhat reasonable, pixelated, line, fuzzy kind of colour to this black and white. And it would shut off really, just get a clear black screen and you'd hear. Mm. That's what's known with these Nintendo 2s. It all depends on what region you live in. Now, these are only American and um, Japanese, I believe. So, over here in the PAL format of EU, a bit of a tall order. But luckily with AV, it's universal! So, let's right out. Okay, so, I'm gonna bring the camera here. See if we can have a look see. I'm very excited. And the tripod is stuck. Okay, here we go. NES model number two. So, in modifying it, the guy Brian, he added a 3.5 headphone millimeter jack. And when I first saw that, I was thinking, wait, hang on, do you just give me audio? And he goes, no, 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 you'd get one of these special cables. I'm pretty sure you've seen them before. It's a headphone jack to RCA composite, which is pretty similar. You can find these in any store, they're not that expensive. So this end would plug in like so, to the back. Very tight fit, I must say. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, and the power, of course. Power. Okay. You turn down, you're turned on. I'm turned on. And this would go into the deposit cables, would go into the back of the TV. Now, although the Nintendo 2 and the original Nintendo only outputted them. Um, mono by plugging in both Eleanor I'm getting simulated stereo so it's not real stereo but it's just mono coming out of both left and right speakers so it's kind of cheating it a bit but who really cares <laughs> so anyway got it all lined up there nice big blue screen of death behind me gonna get me controller me me controller up here did you know Nintendo controller, the best of course. Plug it in, and we're gonna take a personal favorite game of mine, which I can play on my European PAL NES because I've disabled the locker chip. But the volume is laggy because it's slow because it's meant to be played at a 60 hertz region, not a 50 hertz region. This is a 60 hertz version of Battletoads. In simple terms, the American version of Battletoads. I'm gonna see if it works. Fingers crossed. And do we have audio? We have audio! Oh my god. Now you obviously can't tell of the quality, but trust me, it looks absolutely perfect. You can't tell it, but it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, it's simulated stereo, so it's not really stereo, but it's kind of it. So, battle toads. Get the fuck. And the best pause feature ever. Yeah, I kind of stole that from the angry video game, but I'm sorry. So anyway, that was an American game, so that works. I'm really excited. 
And best of all, I can record from my games, so I can record proper American games without having to, you know, speed up the uh, the, the music, which has always been a pain in the ass to do. And just for shits and giggles, let's see what a, a European PAL game would look like on the NES2. So pretty much unplugging a uh, PAL game into an American console. So this is going to be Mario on this is going to be Mario on um, speed. You can tell it's fast. Okay. Oh, okay. Mario Brothers, mega fast version. Here we go. Jesus Christ! Ah, slow down, Mario. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. So, the NES Model 2 finally got AV added to it, and I'm really, really, really thankful. Guys at Microelectronics, you did an amazing job, I'm so happy, thank you so much. So anyway, this has been some random Irish guy with a quick look at my NES Model 2 with AV mod. If you have a Nintendo 2, do it. You owe yourself to get it modded for AV, because it's probably one of the most coolest most easiest, efficient, best looking, I agree, <laughs> and Nintendo's out there. It's not that expensive. If you know anyone that's good with a soldering gun, I mean, I tried to get it done myself, but I was holding the soldering gun and looking at the schematics and going, hmm, yeah, I can just see this going bad. So I'd rather pay someone that has professional, you know, I'd rather pay someone who's professional and do it. So anyway, I did that, and it's, turned out to be brilliant really and I'm pretty sure if anything goes wrong I hope not I can bring it back and he'll update it or whatever if you have an NES2 get it done I'm I'm telling you get it done it's amazing it's been some random Irish guy thank you so much for watching